Got a little bit of weight. My eyes are up here, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> big head shakes. No, no, uh, no real pull, but we got some big head shakes. Feels cusky. It's not fighting like a Laker yet. It's a Laker, I think. Yeah. Nice. All right. On board. Yeah, Donnie's gonna eat good. Get the old smoker going. All right, fat, fat lake trout. Got him right in the jaw with that rubber band. The jaw smacker. Pat man, he's pooping. Wow, that hooker ain't coming out, I guess. Good clean for Donnie. Look at that son of a gun. Right full of smell. I mean, you can, it's unbelievable. Keep him. Beautiful. What they want you to do. Yep. We're doing our civic duty out here on the Moosehead Lake. What do we need, 5,000 pounds? Yeah. They, uh, they told me they were down, I think, 3,000 pounds. They were down 3,000 pounds from Target because of how mild the fish the weather was to get on the ice. Well, they need 29, uh, 2,997 more <laughs> Yeah. If this hole produces like I think it will, we should be able to get half of that today. Going down good. Top water. That didn't take long. I love catching a fish before you get your trap set. Man, this guy does not want to sink down. What's he doing over there? He's been in one spot for quite a while. I know. Maybe he caught one on the way down. At one point, I couldn't even see him. Yeah. It was just a four-wheeler and a sled. Yep. Well, if we pop another one here, Sean, we can set the tent up right here and jig. That's usually how my, I get my best lake trout chicken. I'd catch those guys on a jig rod. Yeah, I'll throw that tent out here. Yep. If we need to. Like you said, I think there's a gut out here. Comes up fairly quick, headed towards shore. I love having that rubber band on there, I'm telling you. I just tell people it's a terrible idea. Huh? Well, especially if you don't, if your hands aren't in love with the cold, it's good for people like that. I don't mind it. No. No. Your hands don't get cold. <laughs> uh, so I went to set one of my traps and the line was wrapped into the line. The line was wrapped into the line? Yeah. Like up, up and under itself. Huh. And, how'd, that, uh, how'd that happen? Some guy picked up a couple of my traps yesterday. How'd that happen? <laughs> it was wrapped, the hook was or the line? The line was wrapped under it itself. How does that happen? I don't know. Ice? Tell me. I actually don't know. <laughs> I've never seen that. 
think it was a sabotage. No. I just would have wound it in backwards if I was trying to sabotage it. <laughs> well, she just popped again. Let's see what's going on. No movement. Oh, that's because we got the band. Yeah, we got them hooked. The band worked again. Another same size, feels like. Oh, geez, got a little bigger there. Just getting them off bottom now, he's getting bigger. Nice head shakes. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, salmon. Wow. Sweet. What is he doing on the bottom in 35 foot of water? Holy cow, that's awesome. Sweet. All right, nice salmon. Going back. There he goes. Sweet. Balmy out here today, guys. All right, she's up again. Third time in 10 minutes. Customer? Yeah, I got him. I got him on the rubber band. Oh, yep. Oh, geez. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, feeling it. Feels like a salmon again. I can't believe I caught a salmon on bottom in 35 foot of water, but feels like another one. Oh, whoa. Big head shake. I just got him off bottom. Oh, look at these head shakes, dude. You seeing those? Wow. Man. Feels decent. Not huge, but decent. Fair to Midland. Come on, baby, keep coming. What is it, silver or brown? Nice toge. Nice. Beautiful, right in that plot size. Well, Donnie's gonna eat that guy too. Number three for the day. Another one for the smoker, Donnie. All right, good morning, guys. A little late intro for you on this video. Uh, it's pretty balmy out there. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's just a white cloud going across. That is, if you were wondering at home what straight sideways meant, that's, that's pretty much the definition of it right there. And sometimes it even lifts up. So that's it right there. She's blowing hard. We are up here in Duck Cove and we forgot how far away it was from Rockwood. It was pretty good drive into that wind. Yeah, especially on a four-wheeler. That was epic. Chubbs got no windshield, no hand brake, nothing. No. No. So he was struggling. My hands were on fire. Yeah. Oh, good for you guys. Well, it is the Rockies. <laughs> we had two pair. <laughs> we each had two pair of gloves on. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. But pretty awesome. I'm here with Sean and Chubbs again. Chubbs might do some cooking today. I might take over after he gets things set up. Um, did he I do this wrong? Today? Looks like he's doing everything wrong. But, but yeah, so we're switching gears. We've had a Brookie Smash Fest the last couple days. If you guys missed that, check back on the last two videos. We've had, uh, we put five stavas topside the first day, one stava yesterday, and six others yesterday too. So we got six trout the first day, seven the second, put a couple cork and chub on the ice sean did not get his state record chub yet so we're going to work on that later in the week but right now we're switching gears and we're going salmon lake trout with a couple brook trout sets just to keep them on us we are on like the premier native brook trout lake in the united states i'd say and you got a really good chance of catching the biggest brook trout of your life when you come out on this lake so it's hard not to set a couple for brook trout so brook trout sets if you don't know are really close to shore you know they're six foot or less and we either use worms or smelts on those you can use shiners too and you're looking for like gravelly areas and the brookies will cruise shallow your lake trout are typically deep they're pretty close to the bottom in this lake especially and your salmon are actually 
over deep water, but they're really high in the water column. So a lot of times when you're, you're fishing for salmon, you could be over 50 to 100 foot of water and only have it down five foot below the ice surface. And they'll take 100 foot sideways on you. So that's how we're fishing today. Uh, we'll see how it works out. So far, only one of us has caught a fish. I don't know what these other guys are doing, but it's pretty easy out here if you ask me. Three back to back. Honey hole. Yep. Look at these snow nados going on out here. Aren't you glad we're not in that? Feel bad for my poor trap out there. All right, all right, all right. We got another flag. This one is the only one I didn't have banded. So this one's got free spooling. And uh-oh, doesn't look like it's moving at all. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to work this one. We'll see, fellas. Oh yeah, just pulled it out of his mouth. Yeah, that wasn't good. We're gonna get this one set up. I had it set for salmon, then I dropped it. So let's do it the right way. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is sound the hole. And by sounding, that's gonna find the bottom. So I got a big chunk of lead on there. We're gonna find out what the depth is. Then I'm gonna tie a little, little marker on my line to show where it is so I know how far the, the fish pulls it. I know where to set it every time. All right, so there's bottom. Then you allow for your trap and then I'm gonna be about that far off bottom. So I take a little piece of rubber band they're super useful when you're ice fishing. You should always have a pocket full of rubber bands. And then I'm gonna tie that on the line. You can slide it back and forth if you wanna change where you're fishing. So that's gonna be the depth I set. I'm gonna take my sounder off and put a shiner or a smelt on in its place. All right, here's our smelt. Hook it in front of the dorsal fin. Don't catch the spine, whatever you do. And then we're gonna send him down. And we're gonna send him down right to where our marker is. And that way we know we're at the right depth. We're about a foot and a half to two foot off bottom. We might catch this fish before we even get this thing reset. We're gonna give this fish about 20, 15 to 20 feet to run. And then we're gonna fetch him up with a rubber band. I'll show you guys how to do that. It's pretty easy. Take a rubber band, put it up against next to your line like this. So it's on the back side, and then you just wrap it over the line and go back through your rubber band and pull it tight just like that. And then you can move that or take it off when you're done. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you wind it up to your rubber band and then put your rubber band over your reel, just like that. And then he pulls it and it gets to that rubber band and it sets the hook for you. It keeps them from running too far and getting hung up. 
day like today, you don't want them running too far when it's this windy and cold. And then we're back to where our marker was, that rubber band is on the top of the reel. We're gonna reset the flag. And then we wait. Chubbs, Chubbs, what you got going on here, Bob? We got a little bit of shaved moose steak, some peppers, some onions. We are gonna make some steak bombs. Beautiful. Nice little steak bomb action this beautiful day. What Sounds, happened out there? Might have been a yellow perch. Yellow perch? It never took any line. I didn't have a rubber band on that one, so I wasn't sure, and I didn't have a marker. I had it set for like eight foot for salmon, and then I, Coming back, I was like, hey, let me just drop it. So I just dropped it till whatever. Had no idea how far high up the, off the bottom I was. I think I had 10 foot off the bottom. I'm only like eight foot down on that first trap. I might send that one down a little way. WD-40 really works, huh? Yeah. I've never seen anybody do that. Really? you never seen anybody do that? <laughs> Fish oil. Yeah. Works great. <laughs> Think it'll go? Oh yeah. It's looking good. I promise it. Smells oh, smells like birch bark. I got a flag. Chubbs has got a flag. High flyer. I'll go pull that trap for you, that That's flag. Too bad you gotta cook. You stay here and cook. Which one? First one. I'll go with you, Chubbs, but <coughs> Did you shut the cooker off? I turned it on slow. That's all it took. I had to pour one cup of coffee. This is going to be a nice lake trout. Yeah, I mean, that's the eight foot down there. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sweet. What did, we, what did the salmon have to be, 18? Uh, yeah. You're coming out? Mm -hmm. Good, because I need to skimmer. <laughs> yeah, just wait for me. And possibly some bait. You don't need a skimmer. What do you need? I'll skim it for you. Give it the old five finger discount skimmer. Wow. Wow is right. This filled up quick. Yeah. Holy cow. All the way to the reel. Yeah. I must have been into the reel. Come on, baby. Be there. Be there. The snow set that one off. Slush flag? Wow, I can't He's lively. How, how far do you want to drop him? Not much. Wow, I can't believe how much snow is in that I know it. I've been so active on mine catching fish that it doesn't get any slush. Oh, yeah. You should try that. Oh, I got a flag. Here. Oh, I might have two flags. Yeah. All right, looks like he made it to the rubber band. Yep. Jeez, that feels pretty good.
Rubber band set the hook for me, fetched them up. Feels all right. You got a customer? Yeah, feels like a cask. Oh, really? He, not much for head shakes yet. Oh, there we go. He came to life? Yeah. That's under the slot. Unlimited, right? Or five? Five. Yeah, five under the slot. So we'll keep him. Look at it. I mean, they're pooping. They're, they're just so full of smelts. Feel that. This hey, cove is so it. full of oh, This cove smells. has got so many smelts in it. Thank you. There he is. Nice little lake trout right there, guys. They want they want a bunch of these killed in here and cold taken out of here. So I'm gonna take that home and we're gonna we're gonna smoke it. Donnie likes eating lake trout. I don't mind eating them either. Especially little guys. Put them right on the smoker. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go check on them steaks. Okay. Did you call dinner? Holy cow, Chubbs. Yeah. That's a two two hander, huh? Yeah, yeah. Double fista. That's that's what we like to call a little steak bomb. That's a bomb. Loose. Wow. That'll get in the beard. Oh yeah, you're gonna wear that. <laughs> you guys got a permit for this fire? Cooking fire. Oh, we got two flags, two at a time right now, guys. All right, let's see if we can get one of these. One of these will be a fish. Yep. Oh yeah, he's home. He's home. Another lake trout. Where I started. under the slot. We're good. Hooked him right in the lip, right in the corner there. Beautiful. Got a little bigger. Wow, he's getting a lot bigger. He's fighting. Fighting like a salmon. Pretty good fight on this one.
All right, guys. Conditions are getting pretty squirrely out here. She's ripping hard. J Chubbs and I just set up a couple jig holes here near where we've been catching them. And we got a high flyer. Let's take a peek. Oh yeah, she's rolling. I think it just hit the rubber band. Yep, it did. Oh. Tiny. Oh. Not tiny anymore. Whoa. Whoa. That just got a lot bigger. I don't think he's that big. Yeah, little guy. He went from tiny to feeling good to tiny again. Got him. Got him. Oh, he feels pretty decent. Feels pretty decent, fellas. Pretty decent. Pretty not bad. One of the best fighters yet. Oh, he just wrapped up, that's why. Well, we got a flag. Joe's over on the show, I'd taken a snooze, so. Go ahead and take his fish. Can't let them all get away. Another toe for sure. Take a fish on Joe's trap any day. Hey, so little togi. See ya. Take it. All you, buddy. You don't need to eat that every shiner. You better not have.
Take it. You didn't even see it. Take it. You could hear it. No. your traps right <laughs> it's a great feeling oh this trap's been on fire oh he's pulling a little bit better now you just got him off the bottom oh no he's right here oh ain't very big but another wow he's burpy keep it. keep this one for donnie one That's for the smoker. Size for Donnie. Yep. Donnie will eat that right up. Just right. Well, another one down on Joe's trap. Oh, trap like 12. It's gotta be 12, yeah. I've caught that's four on it. You yeah. mean? Bit me. Something bit me. Stop. <laughs> I don't want it in my pocket. <laughs> Dudley style. Oh yeah? Why, did he do that? Yeah, I put one in his pocket. You did? Yeah. How'd he like that? He loved it. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> you know what I mean, Ricky? <laughs> Once that camera starts rolling, I just get... I just get all frozen. How's the fire going? going. Dying. We're out of wood. Your pants are smoking. I don't know, I was trying to drag them out. <laughs> it's pretty nice. We're out of wood. We need some more. Chips through all the freaking wood in. That's what you put your hot dogs on. Leave that over the fire. Set it, forget it. Yeah. Chubbs, we out of wood. We, we gotta go make a wood run. I'll go get some wood. Oh. Take, take the axe. I'll go video you. Oh yeah. Let's go get some wood. It's deep right here. <laughs> <laughs> He buried. I made it up here with the 900. Look at this mess. We got some serious elevation, serious snow, and he's buried right to the right to the frame. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pop him loose, but I'm gonna give it a heck. I should probably beat a trail down, but whatever. It is what it is. Oh yeah, baby. You like that? Uh, I'm gonna hit it, so you better where like it. Where are you going when you get out of here? I'm. I don't know, but. Don't, if, if you just pop me out of this. Right, I'm I, just going to pop you out. Then I can go. Yep, there you go. That's recording. Hey. Easy the first time. Oh, you want me to nail it? Yeah, you should. Yeah. <laughs> nail it or no? Yeah, nail it. You sure? I thought I had a little more room. Did that no. move? No. No. Not a bit. I need to get a little more head start, I think. Hold on. Let me try one more. Nothing. I gotta get a little head start. She's out in the hole. Uh, I didn't have much of a snap on no, for you. you didn't have anything. No. I never thought I'd have to get up. 
I'm up in the woods on a mountain to rescue a four-wheeler. This sled, I can't get over what it could do. What do you think, Sean? This thing is so packed with snow. <laughs> Look at all the stuff I just knocked off. All right, let's get back to fishing. That was fun. That was pretty incredible. Afternoon boredom. Didn't have a flag for a yeah. half hour, so we decided to go get ourselves in trouble. Didn't look good for a minute. No, it did not look good. But we don't have to spend... Should we try it again? Dude, there's still dirt coming out of your track. Really? Oh, yeah. Nothing on this. No? I'm going to probably pull this one. Yeah. We're getting ready to... That was fun. That was awesome. Dude, I, that thing has got... Is that ignorant or what? To go up where you... I couldn't believe it snapped me out with like this much snap. I know. I, I was trying to get this much snap. I know. If it I had... only had like this much. I knew it could snap. It could pop you if I had that much snap. But not with what we had. No. I, that surprised me even. Yeah. No, it came quick. Yep. That was awesome. Might be the smallest one of the day right here. Guys, this is like the 14th or 15th fish out of this hole. We haven't caught a fish on another trap. Just that one back there. <laughs> He's fighting now. Gotta get a face full of snow. Look at it. Eater size. Right back. Bloated with smell. Little pin smells in here. Yep. All right, guys, we are back. We are back to the camp. We started dinner early this morning, threw it in the crock pot. I'm going to show you that. It is a meat stew. Various meats. We got hamburg, stew meat, steak, sausage. Got about everything in there. Peas, carrots, tomatoes. No, no tomatoes. Peas, carrots, potatoes, and no onions, <laughs> and a lot of garlic in there, too. So we got that. We're going to drive that into us pretty hard tonight. We just got back from the Rockwood Bar and Grill for a couple of uh, quick toddies, I guess you'd call them. Some nachos. Yeah, and we're gonna have some Oh yeah. Some Cheddar Bay biscuits. Go ahead and drive a couple of them. And uh, I'll steam into one of those, don't, don't be shy. You'll eat more than one. Sean, you want one of them? Sean's on diet. So. Sean's on a skinny <laughs> diet, look at him. We don't want to get him too fat. He won't be able to walk. Look at that bowl of stew right there. We're gonna drive that into us and I guarantee you it's good night Irene after that. But Chubb's over here watching the latest premiere from the channel. <laughs> the old Joe so, Holland video. Yeah, what do you think of that so far? Hanging out with Joe Holland, watching Joe Holland. What do you think of those moose antlers I found last trip? No, I don't think they're as big as you thought they were. <laughs> well, I knew how big the antlers were. I just thought the moose were big. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool. Now, I told Chubb's it was Another big. set of sheds. It was which... probably a thousand pound moose. It, yeah. But he just had little antlers. Yeah. So. Yeah. You just gotta speculate at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's all, specu <laughs> it's all speculation at that point. Yeah, for how sure. big he is. Yeah. But we're gonna mount that thing um, and probably give it like a 61 inch spread. So it's gonna have a wide forehead. <laughs> yeah, super wide forehead. Yeah. You're gonna be able to stick your head in between it. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the plan for tomorrow, fellas? Uh, I don't, Chubb's going to burn his mouth if he eats that. My last day, yeah. I'm hoping to get back into the brook trout. Okay, you want to go brookie fishing? I do. What, how do you feel today went? Um, I, well, I didn't have any flags. And they all came from Joe Holland's traps. So, Togue was fun. It was fun. It was fun catching Togue. We put a lot of fish top Yeah, on. we caught a lot of Togue today. Sean, mm -hmm. how about you? I got a good fire going. Yeah. And you Sean, kept it going. Sean had a good fire. That was a challenge. Yeah, it was fun. But as far as the fishing uh, went. Kept us warm. As far as it the was fishing went, out there. we had one, yeah. you had one hole. Yep. That, you had two holes. Yep. You caught, what, two fish out of one hole? Yep. And then the rest came from, yep. so it was what, 14 fish out of, so yeah. 12 fish out of one hole. Pretty much, yeah. Which is pretty yeah. awesome. I caught four of them. 
Yeah. While you were taking a little snoozy poo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see you get some A little Joe fish. Holland snoozy poo. Sleepy yeah. Joe. And we got off that mountain we were climbing to. So oh, we yeah, pretty good. yeah. That was epic. That was pretty epic. I'd have the old, what is it, Tundra? <laughs> Expedition. Expedition yeah. pulled me out. Yeah. Sucked me right out of there. It was pretty raw out there, though, guys. It was balmy. It was one of those days where you could just look out 100 yards, 500 yards, whatever it was, and there was just always a wall probably 30 foot high of snow blowing straight sideways. And if you look far enough, there were snow, snow natos spinning up yeah. out of everywhere. We never saw another person other than this morning. We saw three riders. Yeah, three sides. And the first guy looked like he had a, what's that called? A, uh, like a... Not a gurney, but a... Yeah. To carry somebody. Yeah, I don't know what they were doing. Yeah, it was weird. It was like a rescue mission or maybe they were practicing... So that's it. We saw those three guys. They weren't fishing. No, that was it all day. We pretty much haven't seen anybody fishing in three days. No, yeah. we have been and solo. We found a nice little spot today. We tucked in. Yeah. You got up in there, you wouldn't even know it was bad out. Nope. Well, when you stayed tucked in, got yeah. if you had to go out for flags every 10 minutes. Got that little fire going. It was pretty nice in there. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. It's hard to leave. Yeah. So we're planning, we're planning on getting on some more brook trout tomorrow. Don't know where yet, probably heading a little bit on the south end of the lake tomorrow. We're going to look at the wind first. A big part of fishing moosehead, you never really can say, hey, we're going to go fish this spot without looking at the wind first. <laughs> you go, oh no, he just burnt his, the roof of his, he just burnt the lower end of his brain. <laughs> wow. That tongue will never work again. Look at, that's good, but it's hot. Crystal is going to be some mad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put that on YouTube. <laughs> Dude, that is so hot. Wow. <laughs> can breathe fire off that one. <laughs> you can't put that on YouTube. <laughs> wow, that is so good, but so hot. All the is same it? Time. Oh, it's delicious. But Dunk one of them biscuits in there to, Dude, to I cool it I gotta, I gotta give it a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna dig in, guys. We'll see you after dinner or first thing in the morning. Thanks for tuning in, as always. Really appreciate all the support on the channel. And give these guys a little support, too. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow for some more baked brookies. The real Joe Holland, please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>